What would happen to the Earth if we took it from where it is currently and we moved it to exactly where Venus is? So this is a question to me that is super fascinating because as we all know, the Earth and Venus are super similar, right? Well, let's go over here to Venus. But the only difference is Venus, I mean, as you can see, has a super dense, super thick atmosphere. You know, the greenhouse gases have gone crazy. It's full of whatever, silicone dioxide and carbon dioxide and all that stuff, making the planet unbelievably hot, right? If we go over here, let's check out, you know, the surface temperatures. I mean, the surface temperatures are 422 Celsius, and we move that over to uh, Fahrenheit. 791 Fahrenheit. I mean, you can't even cook uh, chicken fingers at that temperature. It's ridiculously hot. So my question is, if we take the Earth as it is now with its atmosphere, right, and, and its perfect conditions for life, and we move it to be just a little bit closer to the sun, kind of like Venus is, and then we wait, you know, maybe 2,000, 3,000 years to see what happens, what is going to happen? Is the Earth just going to be the same? Is it going to, you know, transform into Venus? Does the heat of the sun being that close, you know, does that mess things up? Or are we just going to be totally fine? And Venus is kind of this weird offshoot disaster planet. Also, what's up, guys? It's Much Adventure here. Uh, welcome in. Welcome in. Uh, it's been a while. Um, I'll say it's been a while. But uh, we're back. We're making some videos. And uh, you know what? Answering cool what-if questions. Everything about space. You know the drill. So let's figure this out, okay? So let's take Venus. We'll go into the tools. You know, can we do this? Can we do it this way? We'll go over here, I believe. Okay, I found it. Okay, so replace object. Here we go. We are going to replace Venus with the Earth. Should we give it a moon? No, you know what? Let's go full Venus. No moon. Okay, just Earth only. I might mess things up, but whatever. Try it out. Okay, so the Earth is now replaced Venus. You know what? Whatever. Just for fun, let's go over to the Earth over here and let's replace the Earth with Venus. Let's do a, a double swap, okay? Double swap. Okay, so now the Earth is orbiting the Sun in Venus's place. And now I think the only thing to do while we wait here, I mean, let's let's just give it a quick little glance here at surface temperature and stuff. Minimum temperature is, I mean, average temperature going up very quickly, I would say, considering the simulations moving so quick, so slowly, I should say, sorry. And min temperature is going, also going up. Max temperature going down. Weird. Okay. Now, the only thing left to do here, we're a little bit closer to the sun. We're in Venus's territory. Let's speed this up. Let's go like really quick and see what's going on. Okay, so you know what? Let's skip all the way until, you know, let's get a couple thousand years under our belt. Just... Okay, I'm gonna slow it down right here. You know, let's slow it right down. The year is now 3,336. Let's see what's going on with the Earth. So just visually, I mean, it looks a little crispy. Not gonna lie, just visually, not looking at any of the stats. It's looking a little crispy. I mean, South America is completely brown. North America has got a little bit of green left. Not much. I mean, Australia, I know I'm, I'm apologizing in advance for Australia. I mean, look at Asia, Europe, Africa. It's crisp. So now let's go over here. Let's check it out. Average temperature 57 Celsius. I mean, that's not, I mean, that's hot. I mean, that's crazy hot, but that's not like unlivable. Uh, min temperature, minus 37. So yeah, the, the temperature has been going down. Has the pole, have the poles melted? I believe the poles have melted. Check this out. I guess is that, what is that? What is that? Is that Antarctica down there? Completely melted? I don't, I don't know. Or did the world just change weird? Or is that? That was fine. I don't know. What is that? Is the Earth even rotating on its correct axis? I don't think so. Maybe the moon has caused some weird stuff like that. But, uh, okay, okay. I mean, if you look... Wow. Let's slow her down even more. It's going a little bit too fast for my liking here. Okay. Because then we can get a real good look at everything going on. So Africa, I mean, yeah, that's... I mean, there's a little bit of forest left in kind of Central Africa, but that's about it. 
Has the water been getting, you know, I mean, obviously the ice caps are melting because there's nothing left down there. So the ice caps have totally, I think they're gone. Let's check out the comp, let's check out the composition of the planet. You know, it seems like nothing really is being affected that much, but let's go into the life likelihood. So 90.8% life likelihood. So we essentially lost 10% chance of life by being this close to Venus in a thousand years. Um, but other than that, I mean, 90% is still good. So that, I mean, to me, that tells me that Venus is this crazy, weird offshoot planet where it could have survived. I mean, it has the conditions. If Earth is surviving here, Venus could have survived here, but yet it didn't. And why? I guess, I don't know, runaway, these runaway effects, maybe the planet composition was different, too much silicon dioxide, too much greenhouse gases, and it's, uh, it's totally roasted. So look at that. So 90% chance of life. That's not bad. I'd say that's not bad. Now let's go over here. Let's check out some other things. We're not really losing any mass or anything like that. It's really not bad. I expected it to be. I don't know why. I mean, look, it's very hot. Let's be real. That's crazy hot. Wow. Like unless you're in, you know, up, unless you're up north or way down south. You are getting burnt out. I mean, we're talking 75 degrees Celsius, like general. 167 Fahrenheit. I mean, you can't be outside in those temperatures, can you? So that's a little hot. Okay, so I, I will admit that there's probably not much happening in the middle part of the equator parts of the planet here. It looks very hot if you look up this little map here. Probably not a lot happening there. It's very hot. I mean, even when you go, you know, to these colder areas, there's still 30 degrees average temperature up there. That is quite hot. I mean, that's full-blown summer every day. Um, but livable. I mean, yeah, yeah, the world will turn into water world, you know, and we don't really have Kevin Costner to, uh, to save us here. But what are you going to do? I'll take it. Out of all the places in the universe to be, you know what? Being where Venus is turns out to be not that bad. That's it for the video, guys. So, I mean, if you like that video, leave a comment if you want to see any other uh, what-if questions out there that I can simulate on here that you find interesting. I always love reading comments. I may not reply to them all, but I always definitely read them. And I always find them fascinating, um, some of the questions that you guys have coming up with cool different scenarios and stuff. So, please, leave a comment for sure. Um, I'm hoping to make some more videos coming up soon. Apologies for not being here for so long, but you know what? You got to do what you got to do. And uh, we're back now. Welcome back. You know, do all the YouTube things, like, subscribe, and uh, we'll see you in the next one, guys.